Hi, this is Tim Stelmach. I'm lead designer on Underworld Descendant. I'll be doing some commentary on what's going on under the hood in this sequence that you're seeing. Our iconic rogue character, Elita, is narrating this video to help explain things. This is the place. In the final the version, in forward. true role-playing fashion, it will be up to you to explain yourself. Her objective is simply to steal the elemental artifact controlling the works. Torven earth magic never fails to impress. Of course, shutting down the lava vortex is going to have repercussions with the dwarves. I would guess they won't be very happy. This may open up opportunities with the other factions. Be it favor, reputation, riches, or power. Or maybe our rogue is just in it all for herself. Stalling a volcanic eruption. No mean feat. And more than the lack said, you'll know the artifact on sight. Let's get you out of there. Figures there's a sentinel. What kind? Shadow Beast. The Shadow Beast stealth effect is based on the amount of light actually hitting it in the renderer. All right, the chase is on. We really wanted to avoid direct confrontation with the monster in this piece because it forces us as developers to work on unconventional solutions to the problem. In this case, we've got a thief-type character who will focus on evasion and outwitting the enemy, okay. playing off against Use its AI forward. behaviors. Use your wets. A light source. Slow it down. Better follow that. Keep in the light. It's worth pointing out here that that meat grinder trap isn't just an animation. It's operating under physics forces, with virtual springs moving it on its track and a motor spinning it on its axle. As a result, any strategy that the player can devise for gumming up the works will be available to them. Another important part of our improvisation engine. A light source. Using your wits and stealth tactics is just one way to handle a challenge. Another player, say one who has deadly fighting skills, might simply go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Shadow Beast to defeat it. A player steeped in rune magic might use spells to overpower it. Another player might use a mix of stealth, fighting, and magic skills. We're only illustrating one approach here, but in the actual game, many will be open. Here we switch from localized light and darkness effects to a larger ecological change in the underworld by redirecting the flow of lava. That's what our character is going to use here to seal the deal against this shadow beast. The Shadow Beast is doing its best to stay clear of the bright light and heat, but that's getting harder as the rogue releases more lava. But what's her endgame? That's right. Come on. I'm right here. Did I ever tell you about the time I took on a shadow beast? Unarmed? And that's that. Thanks for sharing this little peek behind the curtain of Underworld Ascendant development.